people look at reverse psychology as a very, very negative thing. But to me, really depends. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So I've been thinking for a while. A lot when I'm hanging out with Amber and Life Adventures of Christian, um, Life Adventures, Chris, Christian will, he will try to play some kind of mind game in a sense of using reverse psychology, not in particularly a bad way, just kind of in a joking way. And as I think about that, one thing comes to my mind. That is, well, is reverse psychology really as bad as a lot of people look at it as when it comes to specifically the mind game circumstance on front on it? Because that's technically what mind games are. Mind games are reverse psychology. I think about it and think about it, and the more I think, most of the time my brain resorts, resorts to the idea of, yeah, it's a bad thing, but I'm not so sure. At the moment when I start thinking on it re like deeply, I wonder, well, how bad can a mind game actually be for someone? I started thinking on that and realized, well, really, it just depends on the approach. The approach to mind games can make a big, big, big difference on the outcome of the response. A good example of this would probably be trick questions. A lot of times you'll see trick questions and it'll be like, it's this, when it's like a situation where the answer is right in front of your face, that will be presented to you and you'll be like, oh. That's, when people look at mind games like that, that's when things start to seem like it's, eh. It's not that big a deal. But most people, when they look at mind games, look at it as if it's a bullying thing. Which I don't blame many for, because the way mind games are approached a lot of the time, it's toying with someone's head. I know, because I've done this to other people who have tried to hurt me drastically before. I've played mind games with them. Not to a degree where it's dangerous, but to where it's beneficial. Not for me, but for them. To kind of learn how they should be approaching matters rather than how they do approach matters. Mind games can be used as a negative thing or as a positive thing. Depends on the eye of the beholder and the eye of the... It depends on the eye of the giver and the receiver. Kind of cumulatively. Now, as I just said, when I play mind games, it's to help more benefit the individual the mind game is on, even if it's out of frustration, because I have done that. It would be more to teach them, hey, this is not a good idea. You should not be doing this kind of thing. So, to me, the mind games I've played in the past, for example, have been in situations like an ex of mine would cheat on me, which, if I'm being realistic, all of my exes aside from one ex, all of them cheated on me. I was just prone to that, apparently. But, anyway, I played mind games on all of them. And each individual one had a different thing they had to learn. Slightly. The main core was don't mess around with the heart. That was always the main lesson, but depending on the person depends on how I depended on how I had to had to approach it. 
When I first attempted this matter, it was more difficult, and it came out negative. Because the receiver took it in a very, very bad way because of how I approached it. I learned from that, and from there on, it wasn't as bad the further in you went. That's not to say it was good, because no one really understood what I was doing until maybe the more recent ones. So it wasn't fully understood, but it was received the best. Hopefully at this point in time, those who had received these outcomes are more on the path of, okay, I know better than to mess with other individuals' hearts, to question certain things, to rely on others. It really matters, it depends on the person. But mind games can also be dangerous and damaging no matter what you do. In the case of what I was presenting, that's the more lightened, not so damaging side of it. Mind games can also, and this is where I think it's bad, cause a bullied effect on somebody. It, mind games do have the potential to be a tool for bullying. And at that point, that's where I start to believe it's just wrong, it's not a good idea, why would anybody do it, that kind of thing. I've seen individuals go through mind games in that sense before. I've caught the mind game very easily. No one can, it's very hard for someone to use a mind game on me successfully when it's in that manner. When it's in a joking manner, then they can sometimes, people can more often get away with it than not. But when it's in a bullying manner, I catch it almost, if not every time. It is very unfortunate that things turn out that way, but I do feel bad for those who have to put up with it. Either way around, though, these are my thoughts on mind games. What do you guys think? You agree with either of the ends of the story that I kind of said? Um, if so, which side? Um, if not, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other live discussions and, rant and or rants that I've done prior to this? Link over here. I've got hiccups suddenly. Uh, if you want to check out any videos where I talk about things about myself, whether it's my past or topics about me in general, this side. If you have interest in gaming content, whether for sand reaction or just kind of ridiculous goofiness, because why the heck not kind of stuff, or other live stuff that I do, consider checking out the channel. We've got plenty more coming. So I hope you guys are willing to check it out if you have not yet. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.